Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, it's Brother Wisdom, what's going on, guys? You know, I just saw a notification um, on the Newsbreak app that uh, England is supposed to get two hours of rain. They're forecasting two hours of rain. And they're doing this on a planet that doesn't belong to them, a planet that they're alien to, in a world that they don't belong, in a realm where they have no power, literally no power. The only way they can try to have power is through uh, the act of um, cunning words words that they will use to try to articulate certain things that they do or say. Their forefathers, when their forefathers brought them here, their forefathers helped them fight. All right. And in that fight, their forefathers helped them shut, set up shop. All right. They came in ships. They did come in ships. All right. They did come in ships. And people say, well, where are these ships? Where are these ships that they talking about they had? Where are these ships? Their forefathers left in those ships. You got to understand when they talk about ships and you try to say, well, they said they came in slave ships and they came in this and they came here and this and that. You got to understand, understand, overstand. The ships that they came in were space vessels. They were space vessels designed to fly in space. They were space vessels. That's what they flew in. And they came here and fought against us and had a heavy, heavy fight against us and caused us to fall, brought us to our knees, made us to be, to uh, 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 be, uh, um, beings of a lesser power as they cause us to lose our memories and then their forefathers left that's why you know we said you can't find the ships because their forefathers left in the ships but they made sure they set up shop and they made sure they trained them showed them what to do all right and now they're trying to get in communication with their forefathers again. Wherever they came from, they can't get back to, and they don't know how to get back to that place. That's what CERN is all about. That's what CERN is all about. CERN is about opening a gateway to get back to where they come from, but yet they don't know how to get back. You must remember America was running from something extremely powerful that would destroy them. So there are vessels that they came here on this planet. The vessels, the ships that they had, their warships, their battleships, they were sailing across the cosmos, breaking through the multiverse, trying to get away. And here they found our planet. And they said, hey, we can, we can do this. We can do this. And they fought against us and it caused us to fall. But yet, they don't know that they have been watched. They have been being watched the whole time. And they said, what are these ships? 
all the way back in the so-called 1600s. Because you got to remember, when you talking about these dates, remember these years and all, this is star date. So like, like we said before, this is star date 2022. And they had to divide the days by creating a calendar so that they can have some type of um, some type of grasp on what they're doing. So they created the calendar while they were on their vessels and they brought the calendars here with us. All right, they brought the calendars here when they came here. They just didn't start at 1600 or 1500 or whatever. They had been, they had been having calendars and they had clocks, their own clocks that they already had in their ships so they can keep up with the dates or keep up with the days every 24 hours is a new day so they already had the calendars and the clocks when they came when they when they came here on this planet they just had didn't happen to haphazardly created they, they had it already so this is star day 2022 this is how long they've been away from their home 2022 calendar years but they didn't know that they are, were, and still are being watched. They didn't know, and they don't know, and they know now that those who are watching are playing a powerful role in their annihilation. And I communicate with them all. I communicate with all of them. They have no future on this planet. They have no future on this realm. They have no future in the cosmos, in the sense of the cosmos. They have no future anywhere as they strive and struggle to elongate time. Just a little more time just a little more time because we want to do this and we want to do that and why at the, at the expense of who at the expense of what life we have watched we have watched and they have wiped out whole generations whole bloodlines whole families they have been watched all over the cosmos as them and their forefathers literally destroyed entire planets, entire civilizations from universe to universe and they didn't think that they were gonna be caught up with? Oh no, and now you come to this planet and you think that you thought that you could put the original people to sleep, but you realize that this planet is awake and this planet is alive and it's a living vessel unlike the other planets that you went to. Completely different. And now you're facing the ultimate death. Because we're watching and we're moving and everything is being moved in place. So you're trying all your different little devices and things that you created to try to suffice for energy. But you, you so-called white man, you, inorganic one, 
you are going to face a timely demise your entire species see your people don't know the damage that you and your forefathers have done all over the cosmos See, your people don't know the damage that you've done. Only thing they know is a little bit of things here on this planet, but they don't know how you went from universe to universe, destroying lives because they did not believe in your created God. And you nuked entire planets with your space vessels. Oh, yes. You nuked entire planets and brought very, very powerful generations and bloodlines down to their knees, wiping out whole planetary generations never to be seen again left a planet lifeless without any life on it. Several planets. But you didn't know that you were being watched and we were watching everything and we saw everything. You put it in your book that you call the Bible and you only put limited amount of information in that book. But we know everything that you did. We know your moves before you even make your moves. We know your thoughts. We see how you hide in secret to work against the laws of nature to work against the laws of the cosmos to work against universal laws we watch we see everything and that day and time is coming when you will be wiped from this planet and we've already told you no coming back no coming back you can forget about your bloodline too on every aspect we watched everything and now we're moving into a certain different area of power to take you completely out you think you think or thought you had power because you created some money because you created some fake laws because you did things that you wanted to do and no one could question you we watched everything we watched everything and we have literally been keeping eyes on everything that you and your counterparts have been doing, especially against the original beings. You know, one thing that was really disturbing was that Sesame Street parade when your people just really, really showed themselves with my my little children. All my little children, how they showed uh, partiality. How one of those, the, 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 the big one, the purple one with the, the, the big belly, how he or she, whichever one, just walked over the little three-year-old girl and made her fall on the ground we watched all this you think you're not going to be paid back all of your police officers all your rules that you create 
Oh, yes, your people can walk around with guns all day, but my people can't do it. Even though this is their planet, this is their realm, this is their world, but you created a law and they believe that that law to be true, even though it is fake. We are bringing the energy on a plant on this planet here. We are bringing the energy on this planet here that is going to expose every aspect of your entire species and the counters and the and the and the counterparts of your species. Those who uh, work directly with you. There's an energy that we are working on currently. That will expose your entire species. You have worked so hard to kill and to destroy. You have worked so hard to miseducate and misalign the 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 the, the, the energies and the and 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 the, the the lives of the original beings. And you think that you're going to just keep going on. You think that you're going to survive. You think that you're going to keep doing what you want to do. You think, you think, you think, you think it's over. You have no future. And this is a timekeeper's promise. We already know. We already know. We bring in this shit right here we're bringing this thing right here to make sure that this is your last year of so-called whatever because you're coming into the day and ages now where you will be held accountable for everything and we will hold you accountable the energy is moving on my people and they shall be carrying out judgment. My people, prepare yourself to carry out judgment because they laws, the laws they created are not laws. These are rules that they want everyone to follow because they think they have power and you must show them how much power they don't have. Understand, understand, overstand brothers and sisters. This is the end of everything. You have been watched, so-called white man. You have been watched. You are being watched. Everything that you're doing is being recorded. Everything, even the things that you think no one sees. All the children, my children that you have in your captivity, sex, and you're eating them and you're using them for all type of scientific studies. We see everything and we will soon intervene and we will soon make sure that all of you will be held accountable for your cosmic crimes that you have committed and your entire bloodline shall pay for what you have done because they are all one with you and this is the way this is the way brothers and sisters I hope you hear this clearly I hope you hear this loudly the days and times are coming where you surrender judgment because you are the primordial deities of this world and you surrender judgment and they shall know what real power is. You are the judges of this land, not Mr. White Man, not him and his judges, not him and his police officers, not him and his congressmen, his parliament, his presidents, their queens and their princes. They have no power here. You must gather yourselves together to prepare to render judgment and judgment shall be given accordingly. And no one shall judge the true judges of this world. 
because everything belongs to the original beings of this world. All the original people, everything belongs to them. The gas stations, the cars, the buildings. This is their world. This is their world. This is their realm. This is their power. This is everything belongs to them. And you will never, ever, ever in the likes of your existence on this realm, on this planet, take anything else from them. For they shall take back everything. The day of recompense is here. And you shall know that you will be judged. There is no innocence. Your entire species carry guilty blood. Your entire species carry guilty blood. Even those who call themselves loving and mating with the original beings by offsetting the balance of uh, uh, the, the souls that the, the, the ancestors who are supposed to return. And because the men went outside because they were confused, because they were manipulated mentally, they went outside of their own species, the men were not able to bring back ancestors. The women were not able to bring back ancestors because they went outside. Just know judgment is here and the true judges of this world shall see it and shall act upon it. I catch you guys later. You know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos brings change. Remember, these inorganic beings do not have power. And the days are coming when you shall render judgment and they shall know true power and they will fear you. Gather yourselves together and bring yourselves into the power and the might of the, in, the, the, the organic energy that it belongs to you, brothers and sisters. The cosmic energy, the cosmic power, this is why we're building and creating and designing and learning the sigils and learning ancient uh, practices because you have to bring, be brought back to where you come from. You are the true warriors. You're the true warriors, the indigenous ones. You must free yourself. No one is going to free you but yourself. Prepare yourself to render judgment and do not fear the fake laws that these beings have created because they did everything to protect themselves from you. The law, religion, education, everything that they did was designed to protect themselves from you, my brothers and sisters. Render judgment and do it willingly. Do it with an open heart. Do it with an honest spirit. Much power to you all.